Hey guys, it is Freshly Squeezed Gaming here, and welcome to another episode of the Juicy Cast. And today, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things that have been going on in the world recently, including the World Record Egg, YouTube Rewind, Smash Ultimate, the Super Bowl, Stan Lee, and yeah, all of that stuff I just mentioned, I will be talking about in this episode of the Juicy Cast. So yeah. I haven't done a Juicy Cast in a while, it's been since September, since I've done one, so I have a lot to talk about. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to be talking about in this episode of the Juicy Cast is the Super Bowl, the most recent thing I'm going to be talking about in this video. The Super Bowl um, was disappointing for a lot of people. I thought the halftime show was pretty good, um, except it, it was a awkward at a lot of times. Just in general, if you go back and watch it, it was pretty cringy and awkward at times. But the thing that has sparked up the most stuff, besides besides the Colin Kaepernick thing, people don't care about that anymore. People care about SpongeBob and the fact that they did not play Sweet Victory. Like, it's, it's just kind of funny to me. Um, I mean, yeah, it was kind of disappointing and, and because they didn't play Sweet Victory, but like... People are making it such a big deal, and it's actually kind of hilarious that um, the Super Bowl um, halftime show video on YouTube has so many dislikes. It, it's just it's just hilarious this whole thing with the Super Bowl and stuff. And here's why I think they did not play Sweet Victory at the Super Bowl. I think that um, I think that they wanted to have lots of controversy surrounding them. They already have this Colin Kaepernick stuff with the kneeling the national anthem, all that stuff. I think the NFL wanted even more controversy. So they decided to um not play Sweet Victory. I mean, that's the really the only logical reason is that they wanted more controversy. Because why would they not play? I mean, they have the rights to it, at least I think. <laughs> they, yeah, they probably do. So I, I just don't get it. That's the only logical explanation as to why they probably didn't play Sweet Victory. So yeah. Besides that, I don't know. Um, leave your thoughts about the Super Bowl halftime show in the comments below. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Super Bowl. So another thing that happened um, in November of last year, Stan Lee unfortunately passed away. And yeah, it's pretty sad that the creator of Marvel, he's a legendary dude, Stan Lee. Rest in peace to him. He was legendary and yeah, he will forever be missed. So yeah, on to the next topic here. Let's see, I, I think I'll talk about YouTube Rewind next. YouTube Rewind of 2018 was a disaster. <laughs> it was a complete disaster. Um, it was it was pretty much centered around um, the fact of um, people controlling re Rewind and like putting things that they wanted to put in there. So I don't know, YouTube Rewind last year was pretty weird. It started off with Will Smith and then we had the Fortnite um, plane going over. People were jumping out. That part was kind of cool but then it got to the part where they were all around, around the campfire and that's when it started to become really cringy. It was YouTube Rewind last year was just so cringy. Oh my gosh. It's, it's really hard to watch. It's just, I don't know. It, it, it feels so scripted and yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a fan. It was it was decent. It was okay, but it's officially now the most the dis the, I can't talk. <laughs> it is the most disliked video on YouTube. It is the video to get <laughs> um the most dislikes, the fastest and yeah, it's at 15 over 15 million dislikes right now and it's just crazy how many people teamed up. Pretty much all of YouTube teamed up in order to get that video to be the most disliked video of um ever <laughs> of ever and um yeah um s speaking of teaming up to get a certain thing dislikes or likes <laughs> the world record egg that that was a weird way to tie into that but yeah the world record egg is now officially the most liked photo on Instagram I actually haven't checked recently. Let me check that real quick. I just kind of want to see here how many likes um, the world record egg 
has now. I, I did check rewind, but I didn't. I didn't check the record, the world record egg. Um, it has 52 mil, over 52 million likes. That is crazy. And yes, I did like it. And um, it's kind of funny that the account that has the world record egg is um, posting um, different eggs on there. Um, they're pretty much posting that world record egg, like getting cracked and cracked even more. And they posted like a egg football thing for the Super Bowl, and then they posted a video um, five days ago of the egg cracking, and yeah, it was it was kind of funny, <laughs> but yeah, that is the world record egg. So I've seen a pattern lately of um, pretty much people joining together to accomplish a certain task on a post, whether it's on YouTube, the most dislikes for a video, or the most likes on Instagram. So that is a pattern I've been seeing lately. And also with the Super Bowl, everyone's now teaming up to get that video. <laughs> a ton of dislikes to team up, represent SpongeBob. But yeah, that's, that is um, the world record egg and YouTube Rewind and the Super Bowl and Stan Lee. So now, I guess um, we're going into the last topic of this video. I kind of flew through those first four topics, but yeah, I talked about them thoroughly. So now, let's get to the main topic of the video. Smash Bros. Ultimate, that game released on December 7th of um, 2018, and yeah, it is a massive hit. I love the game. I bought the game. Um, I didn't buy the game. I got it for Christmas, but yeah. This game is epic. I love it. Um, I still have not unlocked all the characters just because, I don't know, I, I have about, I have around 10 characters left to unlock, but I've been playing it a lot, but yeah, this game is so much fun. I love it. It's it's great. Um, the graphics are really good. I can't believe they topped um the Wii U's, um, Smash Bros. Wii U's graphics, but they did, they managed to top it, and this game looks great, it has the most characters ever in a Smash Bros. game, they brought back all the old characters that didn't make the cut in the last one, including Ice Climbers, and Snake, and Young Link, and Pichu, and Wolf, all those lost characters, and they had some brand new characters like Inkling, Ridley, Simon Belmont, King K. Rule, Incineroar, um, Isabel, Richter, and um, Daisy, and I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of them. That's good enough. And um, they introduced something new called Echo Fighters, which is pretty much clones. It's a fancy way of saying clones, clone characters. So Nintendo's officially calling certain characters clone characters, like um, Dark Pit is one that... Um, was originally a fighter but they made it into an echo fighter for this game but yeah this game is awesome i haven't really played world of light yet um, I, I, i've just been playing um the regular matches on smash bros ultimate i haven't tried out all the weird modes because i don't know i i just like classic smash bros the most i i don't even have the, the nintendo switch online yet i haven't purchased online because for fortnite you don't need online and yeah um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I, I don't really need the Nintendo Switch online, uh, at least for now. But yeah, Smash Bros. Ultimate, this is a great game. It's it's just so much fun. I've had so much fun playing this game. Ticking it, like, I played it at school one day um, in December. And yeah, it, this game is just so much fun. I love it. Um, my, my, I do main as Ridley. Ridley is so awesome. I've just grown to love him. He's my favorite character in all of Smash Bros. Because I, I just love his moveset. And yeah, so Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love this game. I give it a 10 out of 10. E everyone would give this game a 10 out of 10. It's great. Except for except for maybe the adventure mode. I've heard the adventure mode isn't as good as, um, obviously, um, Subspace Emissary. People have said that Subspace Emissary is a lot better than World of Light, and Nintendo's also changed and nerfed and made characters better and worse than other games. Of course, they always do that. They change up the Final Smashes every once in a while. But yeah, overall, this is definitely like the most like huge Smash Bros. project ever. I 
I, I would say it's my favorite, but I don't know. Other Smash Bros. games are great, but it's this game is my favorite in terms of content because there's just so much content, more than we've ever had in the Smash Bros. game before. There's so many stages, it's ridiculous. There's over a hundred stages, I believe, or around a hundred. It's, it's just crazy. But yeah, 10 out of 10, that's the rating I give Smash Bros. Ultimate. Great game. It's It might be my favorite game on the Switch, but I do also love Super Mario Odyssey and, and Mario Kart. But anyway... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode of the Juicy Cast. I covered all those topics. Um, the topics I covered in this video is um, the topics I think have been the biggest in the world since October to now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Juicy Cast. Make sure um, to leave your feedback on this episode of the Juicy Cast. Any comments you have to make about anything I said in the video and these controversial topics I talked about in the video but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe see you guys next time goodbye